Diablo 2 running on the Raspberry Pi 3, full screened, running really good actually, I really enjoyed this video, a lot of it is just me playing, I, I got in the game and then I just started going for it, but you know, showing off the game, how to play, uh, talking about Blizzard and uh, how to boot up this image and then get into the game, and uh, some little things I've discovered on the way, like how escape works and the mouse and keyboard, but other than that, I just, it was awesome, if you're a Diablo, Two fan, look no further. Let's go ahead and check it out. All right, let's go to the desktop. So let's go ahead and execute. I have a mouse and keyboard hooked up here. And it's working, look at that. Let's just try a character that's already um, up and running so we can get right into the game. Good day. He's got something to tell me. Oh, greeting, greeting stranger, I'm not surprised to see your I'm kind. Can I? So this is, he has nothing. Oh, that's where I store my stuff. Try to get some action over here. Okay, tab is the map, so we wanna go. It's running really well. So this is Diablo 2. Great, great game. Pretty revolutionary. A lot of people out there waiting for Diablo 4. And, uh. Beware foul demons and beasts. Get over here. What's this guy? Oh, we got an amulet. A lot of clicking in this game. <laughs> and you have health on the left, magic on the right. You have some quick menus there in the center here. Your character, inventory, skills. So, you have not learned the skill yet. Bash. And these guys can't even kill me. Okay. okay. So, I mean, the graphics look, I mean, to be completely honest, I don't know if these graphics really look that dated. I mean, I'm sure, yes, they are, but, I mean, you've all seen some games where it's like, really? I thought that was a glitch right there, but that was just two guys next to each other. Um, oh, there's a piece of gold on the map here. I guess I gotta go there. Oh, man, a recharge. And then a well. Probably help. Ooh, thank you. Stamina. Okay, I got some experience. New skill. Alright, got it. So, this game, I mean, you could throw many, 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 many hours into it and have a really good time great game. Um, now, at this point, I'm sure you can find them on eBay and get them really, really cheap, but we don't like to do that. We can go to the Den of Evil over here. We don't like to do that. We like to... Uh, oh, it looks like we already went through here and did it all, but uh, really great. Blizzard, in, in its heyday, made amazing games. I'm a huge fan of StarCraft. You know, Warcraft was a great game. Um, Diablo, great game. As far as ever since Activision, I mean, they did make, um, what's the game I'm looking for? That's like Team Fortress Classic 2, um, Overwatch, which was decent. I don't play it, but I hear it's decent. And then the other game being, what's Turn Frankie going to say? Turn back and tell you need more experience to fight safely. Huh? I don't need to. I'm going to take her. Okay, I'm going to not take her recommendation. 
Um, the other game is, uh, oh, they also do, you know, World of Warcraft. But the other game I'm thinking about is, um, why is it taking so long to get to me? Oh, they did uh, Heroes of the Storm, which is like their version of a MOBA. And uh, I know it's not super popular, but I actually know a lot of people that love it. They like it as more of a team sport. The graphics are better than me, things like that. So some people are on here are going to be like, what? No way. Leaks way better. All these potions don't really heal as much on there. You know. So, wow. If we kill the leader, it should be Yeah, there we go. We're getting lots of experience now. Anyway, so you go in here, you gotta talk to people, you gotta complete uh, quests. Um, you know, it's cool because there's a little bit of, it's not just an RPG of clicking the right buttons and, and telling people what to do, but there's, you know, some skill involved with left click, right click, hotkeys, getting all the, you know, getting everything uh, squared away. And you get to upgrade your weapons, things like that. It's cool. Fun little game, and it's working. It looks like the res is a little smaller. As you see, it's not, you know, filling up my entire screen. As far as getting to your main menu, though, that's something I need to figure out. Oh, there we go. What did I just do? Ooh, video options, auto map, video options. Okay, so yeah, we're on 800 by 600 right now. We go a little smaller. Okay, so just stuck on those two reses. Lighting quality is actually on high. Blended shadows are on. And then contrast is all the way up. You can up the gamma, which could be good. Let's up the gamma and go back. Previous menu. So if you want to see better, you can up the gamma. Look at that strength now. Come at me, bro. And that's the other thing too, you might notice that you don't always land every hit, you know? Got some really cool mechanics built in. And I guess my guy has auto run on. Is there a way to walk? I forget. So I'm using my stamina really quickly. Run, R. Okay, yeah, so R turns it on. Okay, now I'm on walking. So R does your... Oh, I'm actually getting kind of low. I should probably take one of these. I thought I picked up an axe here. Alright, so before I was using 3 to 6 damage. Unidentified. Oh, I think if I just click this. Right click this, I can identify it. Now I have 3 to 6 plus poison damage over 3 to 6 plus poison damage minus fast attack so let's go ahead and switch that out oh see now I poisoned it um 4 to 7 damage and 4 3 to 5 so let's try this one 4 to 7 this is better assassins only oh so I can't use it so, you go in, you build your inventory, you build your character, they level up, you get to go through these cool little levels. It's um, it's a pretty cool game. I'm down. Qatar of Readiness. I think those are for assassins only, that's why we didn't get them before. There's, you know, stairs, I mean, pretty cool level design. You know, the, the fog of war is cool. Man, these, these archers really mess you up. Oh, I see what she does. She hides behind these guys. She's the one that's messing me up. Okay, once you get rid of her, it's all good. <laughs> so you've died, press escape to continue. So this is where I don't think you can press escape. I think you gotta just go into the game menu here, because watch what happens if I hit escape. Oh, it worked. Okay. So escape works once you're in the game. Okay, that's good to know. Okay, cool. So there you have it, Diablo 2, uh, save and exit game, should bring you back out to, okay, here, if you press, oh, okay, I see what's happening. If you press escape in the menus here, watch it, if I press escape, 
that is an exit command in the menus. But once you're in the game, the escape will not exit the game. So you don't have to worry about accidentally hitting escape once you're in the game. So there you go. We can go ahead and see our CPU performance here. Okay, well, as you can see, it was not even getting 50% up here. And now it's down to nothing. So it looks like it was about 30% up to 50% at the highest. And I was running through those levels, a lot of characters, things like that. Um, to, to shut down, you can just hit shut down here. You can you know go to run command and go back into emulation station. Um, it's totally up to you. Really good stuff. Thanks to Crash for releasing this, doing the testing. Um, really cool that he's always trying out new things. I know he's worked on the Tinker Board and he's worked on this and a couple other projects. So it's great that we're just expanding the possibilities with the Raspberry Pi 3. So kudos to him. Really great work. Thumbs up all around. That's what I think. Let me know what you guys think. Don't forget to like and subscribe and we'll catch you guys on the next one.